Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be reviewing a bag from Marlando. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Mar Marlando. And um, this, this is really exciting. I got the package just today. Maybe I'll cover up my information. Uh, FedEx just dropped it off and I am going to do a full review on this bag. I um, but I want to be able to experience the bag before I really get full opinions, but I thought it'd be just fun to just do kind of an unboxing. Um, why don't I cover up my mailing address and I'll just open it. Isn't it exciting? I've never uh, purchased anything from Marlando. And actually this is a collaboration video, so that looks like I reached out to them. I looked at all their bags online. I said, hey guys, this is who I am. Would you consider sending me a bag that I want to try out? And I'll do a re uh, an honest YouTube review, um, completely honest, and just share my opinion with my audience of your bag. And they're like, heck yes, we know who you are, Danae. And I thought that was so cool. I I just think I'm a little, a little girl in Missouri, Missouri. So all right, I opened it and here we go. So again, this is the small classic satchel. And I love the dimensions online. I got it in tobacco. I hope it's everything I want. I'm nervous. Are you nervous too? Okay. So we have a pal. Oh, oh, that's cool. He gave me. That's neat. I think it's like a, a vinyl sticker. That's how you spell it. Marlando. Oh, he gave me another one. And his business card. I've been working with Tim. Hi Tim, thanks for being so nice. I am very lucky to be able to have this bag sent to me. But I do want to give you guys my honest opinion because once I don't do that, there's no point in doing this. Okay, I'm just like, okay, I can open it. I'm just nervous and I can already smell. Mm. Why, why does leather smell so good? I can smell it. And it's really nice packaging because I think this is tape and then plastic and I think then there's a dust bag. So far, great packaging. Here we go. One time I was opening a bag and I used my X-Acto knife and I sliced my bag. So, I don't have that bag anymore. But man, that was scary. I didn't like slice it open, but I like scratched it. And it was a little bag that you could scratch, so it wasn't that bad. All right, so that plastic's off, and now we have like a very nice dust bag material. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's now in another plastic bag. So here's the brown dust bag. It's not a drawstring, it's just um, this piece of tape. Okay, here we go, we're getting closer. Okay, okay, I need to calm down. Okay, I ask this question to companies all the time. I say, hey, can I have a bag and I'll do an honest review? And like almost everybody tells me no, which is fine. I collect no's. But um, this, this company I've been so curious about and it obviously makes it easier for me to get my hands on the bag. <gasps> Okay, here we go. Here's my shoulder so you can kind of see. Oh, wow. First my first impressions are looking in my viewfinder. So this is the color tobacco. Oh, wow. I got really quiet, didn't I? Okay, so back pocket. I don't know if that's brass. They look like ribbons. Okay. Oh, and then here's some, this is like protecting the bag. And then this is magnetic closure, which isn't normally like what I do normally. Ooh. You can see it. <laughs> okay, I'm amused. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, I'm sitting on the floor. This is my studio. This is, this is a view nobody ever sees. This is a TV in a filing cabinet, TV. But my husband likes to hang out in the studio, and so I put a really nice TV in here so he'd hang out with me more. He likes me, but, you know, TV's a 
sometimes more fun. Okay, tissue paper. Okay. Oh, it's heavy. How oh, pretty. I've never, I've never seen a company take this much care in wrapping their bags. Okay, this is the strap. Wow. I don't know why I got quiet again. It's very warm. But I'm sure it's been on the FedEx truck for a very long time. But I'm guessing this is brass. I'll look up and write in the description. But I'm quite sure it's brass. Look at how thick. Look how thick that leather is. Is that two pieces stitched together? Yeah, you can see it better here. took a little longer than I thought. Comes with a shoulder pad. <gasps> okay guys, I'm really excited. Okay. Okay, so first, this is how it's opened. And this is a pocket right here. Full length. No zipper, no button there. You wanna come up here? Come. My dog's here. Ada. Come. Come here. Look. Look. Hey, look. Isn't she cute? It's a black lab. Her name is Ada. Oh, thanks for hanging out with me. She's got a white beard, but she's only four years old. Um, get back to the review, Danae. I know, but I like my dog. I wanted to say that my husband and I met in um, a church in the city of Ada, Michigan, and that's why we named her Ada because that's where it all began. You a good puppy. You like leather too. Yeah. Okay, back to the bag. So, this is lined with, I think, pig skin. There's a little bit of rippling here. I think that's because that's where it's bending the most. But it has more of a sheen to it. It's not matte. It's a nice dark brown. That's really pretty. Um, this bag was sold out for a while, and so when I asked him if I could review it, he was like, we gotta make more, and I just kinda liked it. I think they have like, they make smaller batches of bags. Um, more stuffing. More stuffing. Ooh. So this is lined with a fabric. Um, two pockets. And did I show you the zipper on this side? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited because I have been looking for a bag with these dimensions. And I, should I pull it up? I'm, I want to share the dimensions with you. Because I've been looking for just a nice satchel that I can wear all day long. And it's only, I'm only 5'5", five five, so I can't do the 15 inch. I can't do the 14 inch in um, length. So let me let me find the dimensions really quick. Wait, did he tell me on here? No, he didn't. All right. Hold on. I'm grabbing my phone. Aren't you guys excited? Aren't you excited? I know not everybody's excited about uh, leather, and not everyone's excited about when I get a bag sent to me, but I'll stay honest. One really interesting fact is that some of these companies that I'm working with, they'll have like 50 different kinds of bags. And I already narrow it down to the ones I know I'm probably gonna like. There was one time I, well, I was like telling you guys the review and I was like, I won't buy this, but this is the review. Do you guys remember that? Okay, let's see. Okay, classic satchel. It retails for $198. This is so cute. And I just wanted to share the dimensions with you. This one's the small. The small is 12.6 inches by 8.6 inches by 3 inches and weighs 2.6 pounds. And you can see. Can you see? Will that come in? Maybe that was a bad idea. 
Anyway, so they have a small and they have a large. The large is 14 and a half or 14 and a fourth across, but this is 12.6 inches across. So let's throw, let's throw the strap on. Oh, I already had a fun day. I went thrift store shopping with a friend and I'm having another friend come over tonight. Uh, we're just gonna hang out. And then this arrived. It's just a good Wednesday. Okay. So this is with the strap. I'm glad there's a shoulder strap. It adds a little more bulk to the strap, but it will make it more comfortable for long term. So let's see how it looks. Hold on. Okay. I got my capris on. And this is a men's bag. But you know me. I wear men's bags. So here's without adjusting the strap at all, how low it hangs. Maybe it's at a good crossbody height. Yeah, it is. Crossbody. Well, this is exciting. Okay, so the game plan is to try this bag for a couple weeks and I'll come back with like a full review and um, talk about the pros and cons and maybe it'll be a bag that you'll consider for your collection or everyday carry. Ah, I'm really excited. Okay, I'll see you guys. Bye.